What is up fellow game developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to another video on the Muddy Wolf channel. In this video we're going to be continuing on with our 2D platformer game. We'll be creating a shooting mechanic like this in the game. Hopefully it's pretty good, hopefully you learned something new, so let's get started. Okay guys, now we're back in Unity. I'm going to go over to our left here. I'm going to click right, I'm going to click create, and I'm going to click create a sprite, and it's going to be a circle. I actually already have one, I just want to show you how to do it. Um, once you have your circle, you can drag it into the scene, and this is what we're going to use for our bullet shape. Now it's a bit big, so I'm going to set this to 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So it's a little small boy. I'm then going to give this a yellow hex code to make it just a bit more vivid on screen. I'm going to add a rigid body 2D and um, yeah, none continuous, actually, mm, discrete. Um, and we're going to set this to kinematics. Oh, yeah. We're just going to set the gravity scale to zero, that'll be fine. We'll keep that on. We're going to add a, a circle collider 2D to this, and that should be fine. So now we have a bullet. Let's rename this to bullet. And let's give this a tag of bullet. If you don't have a bullet tag here, you need to go to add tag, add a new tag, and then come back and select bullet. Um, and that should be our bullet. We now need to add a script to this called the bullet script, and we're just going to create and add a new script. Now, once this is created and add, I'm going to double click it to open it up in Unity, and I will see you once we're there. Okay, now we're in Unity. I'm just going to remove the starting stuff, remove that, and we're going to start by creating our bullet script. So we don't actually need any of these two at the top here. All we need is the Unity engine. We're then going to create a couple of floats. We're going to create a public float bullet speed. I'm going to set that to 10 or 15 F. We're going to create a public float called bullet damage, but we don't need it yet. We're just going to set that to 10 F. That will be done in a different video when we add enemies. Um, we're then going to create a public rigid body 2D called RB. And then we're going to create a fixed update method. In this fixed update, we're going to get the RB's velocity and we're going to set equal to a new vector 2. Or actually, we can do a shortcut called vector 2 dot right times bullet speed. Oh. Bullet speed. Right, that's good. Now, if you hover over this, you'll see what the right value actually equals to. It's a shorthand way of saying vector 2, 1, 0. Um, which is fine. We're then going to head over into an on collision enter 2D and we're going to say if collision dot game object dot tag or sorry we don't even need that we're just going to say destroy game object. So we're going to destroy the game object as soon as it hits anything. There we go. So that is our bullet created. Let's go back to our game. Let the game refresh. Hit play and we should see our bullet fly past and as soon as it hits the right side it didn't do anything because we forgot to set its um, its rigid body down here so let's drag the rigid body into our RB value and click play now this time our bullet should fly into the wall and destroy itself and it missed it missed everything <laughs> we have not positioned it right let's bring it down a little let's bring it all the way down here now let's hit play and you probably won't see it yet, boom, it went instantly and hit straight into the wall, which is great. So our bullet is now flying across. We can turn this into a prefab by dragging this down and putting it in our prefabs folder. If you haven't got this folder, you can right click and create create a new folder to create this uh, a new folder. So we now have the bullet prefab um, and we're going to use this to re instantiate or basically add a bullet to the scene every single time we shoot. So let's drag our bullets into our scripts folder just so it's there. I'm going to minimize that. And then on our player, we need to create a new game, empty game object. Oh, <laughs> I was just about to name it empty game object. It should be named firing point. This is where we're going to shoot from. So if we zoom in here, you see it's about there. We'll just set this to 0 0.5 and that's about right for where we need to shoot it from. Now on our player, we're going to add a new script. Apparently there is a missing script. Oh. Now remove that. And let's add a new script calling it player shoot or shoot controller or damage controller. I'm going to call it player shoot. Uh, create an add. And then once it's added, we're going to double click this to open it up in Unity or Visual Studio, sorry. I'm going to remove the starting stuff as usual and remove the top two tags. Now we want to create a public, um, a public float called 
fire rate and we're going to set this to about 0.2 f the reason we've got a fire rate is because we don't want to be shooting too fast we're then going to create a public transform and set this equal to firing point and finally we're going to set a public game object and set this equal to the bullet prefab we created so we can re-instantiate it and make it scene we're then going to create a private float called time until fire which is going to basically calculate our time until we can next shoot our gun we're then going to say player movement script pm because we need to get reference to our player movement script now let's head over to our player movement script we need to create a new public um, variable and we'll just say hide and inspect because we don't want to see this on the front end but it needs to be public and we're going to say public um, boolean called is facing right now we're going to set this to true by default because our player is facing right we're then going to go down to our local scale here and when we swap scale we're going to say if or no we're going to say is facing right is equal to true and down here we're going to say something kind of weird there is facing right equal to false we're then going to so we now have this variable we can use in our player shoot script we're then going to say start and create a start method and say pm is equal to game object dot get component player movement and that's going to get our player movement script from our current game object we're then going to move down to an update function and we're just going to say if input dot get mouse button down is equal to zero and our time until fire is less than time dot time we're then going to say shoot and we're going to create oh not oh that's dodgy shoot and we're going to create a shooting uh, method we're then going to say time dot or time until fire is equal to time dot time plus our fire rate so what we're saying here is our time until fire is equal to our current time plus our fire rate meaning this is not going to be true until um, the time is um, goes past um, so let's create our shoot um, method here now in our shoot method I'm just going to say float angle is equal to pm dot is facing right then we'll go do a ternary operator and say if it is facing right then our angle is going to be one else it's going to shoot at 180 degrees so it's going to be facing backwards we're then going to say instantiate and we're going to give our bullet prefab we're then going to pass through our firing point and we're going to give it its um, position and finally we're just going to say quaternion dot i don't even know how to pronounce that it's equal to a new vector free zero zero and then angle I'm just putting an F on these because it is a float essentially. And there you go. So this is all we need to shoot in our game. Now if we go back over to here, wait for it to load, scroll down, you can see we can now drop in our bullet prefab. Bullet prefab, thank you, and our firing point. Hit save. And now if we click play and we press our mouse button, it's now shooting a bullet if you can see there when we shoot it's actually not going the right direction the angle is completely wrong which isn't good so let's fix that let's go back to our script and have a look why it's wrong so is pm dot is facing right check we're getting this right game object dot get component player movement which should be correct so everything looks correct here let's just double check in our bullet script rb dot is equal to vector two dot right. Ah, see this is the issue. I'm using this should be transform dot right. So vector two gets it in world space, whereas transform gets it in local space. So now we need to go back, hit play, shoot, and now if we face the other way, we can shoot in the other direction as well, and it won't collide with our player. And as you can see, when it collides with objects, it gets destroyed. In the next video, we're going to add in an enemy to be able to shoot at. So we're going to be able to shoot him, hopefully pretty well, um, and shoot him, shoot him. And as you can see here, you, even though I'm stuck barring really fast, it's only shooting a few bullets at a time. It's not going to shoot more. That's what the fire rate does. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 
smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep muddy.